rundown of the three aspects of endurance physiology which we've built this business around okay so the first one is vo2 max now the vo2 max is the maximum volume of oxygen that you can take in transport and utilize in one minute so it takes into account how much you can breathe in so your lungs how much you can transport so that's the cardiovascular system and then how much you can actually use by the muscles to create aerobic energy so the efficiency of your heart lungs and muscles working together to fuel aerobic performance now aerobic energy is really good we get 36 energy molecules or 36 to 38 energy molecules, okay? That's 18 times more than we get from the anaerobic system. So we get lots and lots of energy. We also get non-fatiguing metabolic byproducts. So we're looking at things like heat, water, and carbon dioxide. Now heat's okay, so long as we can control it through sweating, hydration, um, turning the fans on, etc. Carbon dioxide, we just breathe back out into the air, and water's absorbed by the body, so that's good, okay? So if we can get more energy from the aerobic system, we're gonna fatigue less. The next one is our our threshold or our, our lactate inflection point, anaerobic threshold, functional threshold power, whatever you want to call it, they mean the same thing. And this is about using up as much of that VO2 max as we can. So your VO2 max is getting that V6 to a V8 engine, and now your, your anaerobic threshold or your lactate threshold is about getting that V8 engine now working on all eight cylinders. So it's how much of it you can use. The average person can only hold about 70% of their VO2 max at threshold. The elite guys can hold 88 to 94%. So when you get that as close to that 94% as we can. The third one is all about economy. So if you can run faster, swim faster, cycle faster while using less energy, that's going to be beneficial to performance. And there's two aspects. One is obviously biomechanics. We want to be more efficient in our movement. But the other one's also strength training. So strength training is it's sort of two components. One is performance. We want to be able to produce the power. But the really big one, especially for the guys watching this, is injury prevention and prehab. So we want to be able to absorb that load and get those muscles working in the right sort of um, the, the right fashion so that they produce power at the right time so that we don't get these overuse injuries, these niggles and break down uh, due to fatigue there. So if we can get the VO2 max functional threshold power up as well as our economy, then you're going to run, swim, ride, row a lot faster with less injuries. Guys, if you like this video, please comment any questions below and get involved in our Mets Mastermind group. We're gonna post the link below, but it's a free group where we post every bit of content that we create, whether it's a video, um, an article, a blog, something that we find uh, in the endurance industry. We put it all in there and you can actually ask questions about anything related to endurance performance. It's completely free. Click the link below, get involved.